Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting Adobe Illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial we are gonna make this cool logo design. So let's get started. Let's go to file, new. I'm gonna make 1280 by 720 but you can choose any size that you like. Create. Now choose the ellipse tool from the rectangular tool set. And hold on shift and alt to make a perfect circle in the middle. Once the circle is created, choose its fill color to be a darkish gray. Now choose the selection tool again. And hold down the alt key and drag another circle out of it to the right like this of course you can copy and paste but this is a more efficient and speedy way change its color to a little bit lighter gray so then there is a clear contrast between the two ok once that's done go and open the pathfinder panel select both of your circles and click on divide so that one circle is cut from the other like this and now drag the remainder shape out of the other by holding down the alt key go to the uh, fill color and change it to light gray again once that's done hold on the alt key and make another selection and drag it to the right leave it here and now click select both of the other two shapes and click on divide again so that it is cut now place the other half that we took to the right side and rotate it a little bit and adjust it point here is to make it look like that it is not exactly you know cut in half but it is a little bit of like a crystal uh, crescent moon make sure that they are joined together perfectly with each other use the up and left and down keys on the keyboard to fine tune it copy and paste in front the whole object and drag it out course you can hold down the alt key and drag it out but I just wanted to show you that there is other way of copying and pasting it now place this one by after rotating it on top of the first shape and fine tune it and place it exactly set so that there is no gap between the two okay now once that's done we select their strokes we do not need the stroke we just need the fill colors like so it looks more homogeneous and one shape when the stroke is disabled zoom in to see if there, there is any gap between the two shapes and if there is use the arrow keys on the keyboard direction keys actually and adjust them adjust it until the shape looks perfect now zoom out now select the whole shape and make another copy and rotate it and fix it on top of this one like this like I'm doing it and the routine is the same adjust it perfectly so that there is no gap or any light or the white background seen between them Once your shape is complete and ready, like this, select the whole thing and go and apply the gradient share texture on it and make the gradient texture to be white in the middle and dark on both sides. Of course, there are a lot of fine tuning involved in the gradient setting, but 
make one thing sure no matter which color or which type of gradient that you apply that the curliness of the shape is in the dark this area okay so it gives the illusion that the shape or the curves that are going inside are going into the dark so while we apply the gradient it looks like that there was some gap adjust it and now we can adjust the individual gradient of every shape if your shape is not divided first of all divide it okay I'm gonna speed up this process a little bit because I every individual piece needs to do it this is a little bit tiresome and tedious but it is worth it because it makes the shape look very very good do this for all the shapes individual shape every shape gradient is to go in a little bit different direction because every shape has its own direction and it's not exactly aligned with each other like this make the light side to, towards the outside and the dark side towards the inside like so and make it a little bit proportional to each other so that it gives the illusion that they are curling in and it is one shape of course you can choose any other color for gradient I'm just using the gray and dark color because it gives a good silvery type of a color and it looks like that the shape is of a silver texture or something it's use the illusion of a metallic shape once your shape is created and ready adjust the fine tune different parts of it make sure that everything looks perfect now make a little circle we are going to make shadow of it okay Uh, turn the red gradient into radial and now adjust the gradient till you get a shape that you are happy with reduce the opacity of course And squash it like this to the plane of course I forgot to remove one of the marker like this now place it under your shape just beneath it right click on it arrange send it to back so that it is under your shape and fine-tune it extend it a little bit I think I think we need to decrease its opacity a little bit more. I think the shadow is a little bit too darker. Fine tune it, of course your composition might look different from me. Once the shape is done, go to transform and click on reflect and make a vertical copy of it. We're gonna make this to look like it's copy. Now drag it underneath it select the object drag underneath it like this and while holding the shift key make it brings it down perfectly underneath it like this okay send it to back so that it is under the shadow it start over the shadow okay we are going to reduce its opacity so it will look like not a shape it will look like a reflection on a reflective surface reduce its opacity as much as you think now looks perfect in your composition okay now make up the background with the rectangular tool now we are going to adjust the color of the uh, background I'm gonna change the colors of the background at one side I'm gonna choose the bluish color and on the other side I'm gonna choose the black color actually of course I'm gonna shift the black to the outside and the blue to the inside 
and I think at this point it looks good of course you can add additional markers in the middle to fine-tune your gradient I think I'm also gonna make the gradient a little bit elliptical rather than a perfect circle okay this is now the part that you know you can be artistic there is not perfect or ready way to do this no perfect way hard and fast rule you can apply any color you can experiment with it you can adjust it you can work till it looks good once you are happy with your a background send it to bake okay I think I'm going to reduce the opacity and adjust the color of my uh, shadow also because it's white is too much at the moment okay Actually, I have to select the object, then the opacity could be adjusted. I always forget that things has to be selected to be affected in uh, Adobe Illustrator as it is the rule. But the shape is good and fine, and it's looking good like this. Then you can, of course, adjust their gradients. I'm going to adjust the gradient of the reflection also a little bit okay i think that made it too much dark I think i'm just gonna control z that okay the shape is looking good now i'm gonna select all of the objects and shift it to the side and write our logo name on this side of course you can write anything i'm just gonna write my own name actually it's not my name i'm just gonna show you the placeholder for the logo save logo once you've written the text of the logo select it all then you can of course adjust its color I'm just gonna make it gray not any special preferences but just want to show you that what you can then do afterwards choose any font that you like make it big so that it is clearly visible okay I hope you guys like this tutorial enjoyed it and please if you did like it make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe until next time i take my leave from you guys and hope to see you in the next tutorial